Biko, you are back. As Mud is my mother, it is good to see you. The lightness in my chest tells me the remnant is safe. But what of friend Famia? Or the... I am sorry to hear that. In the end, I think it was pain that fed her madness. Maybe her spirit will find its way back to the Hist. I hope she finds peace. Famia holds the remnant of Argon? She should not bear its weight for long. Even with the Hist's guidance and blessing, dry folk are not suited for carrying things like that. I will... I loosen my lungs. It is good to see you, Swordkin. Sojay screams the victory chant. You reclaimed the remnant, is it not so? Yes. I still feel the sting of star blossom smoke in my nostrils. I nod my head. A fitting place. Good. Here. Good. The hist. It's telling me what we need to do. But we... Uh, we have to be quick. Breathe, friend Famia. Just tell us what we need to do. She does not look well. Maybe we should... No. No, I can do it. You have to touch the remnant together. All three of you. I, I promise, you won't... You won't be harmed. Inside the remnant of Argon? Mm. Yes. A dream, sealed in amber. I did not think it would be so green, so peaceful. The peace of the grave. This is a place out of season. Sunless. Unchanging. A place for hiding, not for living. We cannot stay here. Ha. Huh. Spoken like a true Deadwater call. Let us look around. Rootmender, after all this time, it warms my scales to see you again. I sensed a twisted soul trying to claim our power. Had she succeeded, many would have suffered. Thank you for stopping her. Now all that remains is to set us free. Trapped? No. Preserved. Kept safe. The aliens who attacked us, they wanted our secrets and our souls. We used both to thwart them. Safety is not an end in itself. Only a means to ensure the seasons of tomorrow. Here, all is static. The trees do not grow. The tides do not rise or fall. Our souls grow complacent. Adrift. We must return to the Hist. And for that, we need a guide. Yes. Both possess old, wise souls. One must leave the waking world and remain with us, to guide the tribe down the river called Rebirth. Only a soul unfettered from the body can guide us. What you call death, we call change. There is no death in the Hist. Difficult to say. There may come a day when you lock eyes with a hatchling listening to the wind, or chasing a gecko through the reeds. 
if that moment comes, though your minds may wander, your souls will know a joyful reunion. You have many more souls to save, Rootmender. Many battles to fight. Just as you were born to aid them, Zookas and Jaxic Orn were born to save us. Yes, in an old time, and not long ago, all at once. You fought alongside the tribe, deep beneath our sacred hist. Yes, our hist pours its intention into the remnant. When we leave and awaken to our new life, the hist will wake too, ready to guide a new and vibrant tribe. So, one of us must remain here to guide these souls to rebirth? Well, my soul has made this journey countless times before. I will probably only have to ask the Hiss for directions once or twice. I joke, of course. I would do this thing gladly. You ask me whether the words of an ancient ghostly sap speaker inside a sacred Hist relic can be trusted? No. If there was any other way, she would have told us. I can feel these souls' confusion, their uncertainty. They definitely need my help. Well, I could not have imagined I would pass on like this. And I am sad that I will not have an opportunity to say farewell to my tribe. But when the rains come, you can dance and drink your fill, or you can hide and go thirsty. I feel no fear. Knowing what you know of Jaxic, what do you think? She will not be happy at first. Deadwater warriors dream of death, but in the end, she is a child of the Hist. She will see the wisdom in it. The world still needs wise warriors like Jaxic Orn. I fill my lungs. I always imagined I would fall in a spray of curses and blood. But I see now that my passing will be unlike any dead water warrior before me. Quiet, but glorious all the same. I was born to die for my people. The duty is mine. I nod my head. Leadership in war is no different than leadership in peace. These souls may be disoriented, but deep down they wish to make the journey. Soje and I will... Oh. I suppose Soje will stay behind. I had not considered that. You are right. My egg brother waits for me somewhere in the world. On the other side of this journey. A comforting thought. I could not follow you into battle against Cassandra. Let me do this now. I will see these souls to the Hist. Zookas will try to take this burden on himself. But his tribe, all of Merkmire, would mourn him. And many long years may pass before he returns. The marsh would grow darker without him. If I pass, my people will not mourn, and neither should you. The winds shift, and the deciding season is upon us, Root Mender. Who will lead our tribe out of the remnant? In good times, we glide across calm waters, guided by the Hist's will alone. But when the weather turns foul, we must act on our own. In choosing Zookas or Jaxigorn, you choose what virtues my tribe carries with it to the egg of their next life. What virtues do you hold in highest esteem? Do you favor temperance and cunning? Or honesty and courage? Let that guide your judgment. A wise choice. Zookas has a kind heart. He will shepherd us to the next life. Jaxic Orn may be disappointed, but know that she still has much to do. 
A new tribe will gather beneath the boughs of our waking hist. She must lead them. You must leave this place. Lay our guide's body to rest near the roots of our hist. Place the remnant there too. With the hist's guidance, your companion will do the rest. You have my gratitude, Rootbender. You have proven yourself a true Argonian. Thank you for giving me this honor, Biko. I promise I will guide the tribe safely to the next life. Zookas. Ha! Ah, you do not club me and drag me away. Do not fear for me, Jaxic. I guide this tribe, but another will gather beneath the branches. You should lead them. I will. And when we meet again, you will see a new village. Strong and proud. It could not hope for a better leader. Easy now. You're all right. You haven't been out long. You'd know better than I. When the three of you touched the remnant, it was like you instantly fell asleep. Your eyes kept fluttering like you were dreaming. Jaxic Orn woke up first. I figured I should watch over you until you did too. Zookas is... Well, the way Jaxic Orn put it, he... He chose to leave his mortal body behind. One moment he was dreaming... The next, his body was still. He was my friend. I didn't even get a chance to... Yes, he passed so peacefully. I had hoped. That's very good to hear. No more tears, huh? <laughs> All right. Jaxic Orn said she had to prepare a ritual. She had that hissed look. She said to bring the remnant, but... I think you should have the honor. Here. There is a strange peace in Root Whisper. Do you sense it? A serenity that I have felt in no other village. Not in all my days of traveling. Night. And shadow. They are what is and what will be. Vakabok, Zulthusis, a part, yet two halves, which then make an entire whole. It seems a contradiction. Does not the light wash away the shadow? Does not the debris block the river from its intended path? Then you are wiser than I, with my nothing tongue. Perhaps one day, I will also see that truth, as clearly as you. I should... In Deadwater, we were united. A single spear that thrust into the heart of our enemy. But in Root Whisper, we are divided. A rain of arrows, which will fall uselessly against our enemy's shield. I erect my quill of relief. You are back. Good. Everything is prepared. Lighter than it looks. I make this vow. While Zookas leads these souls to rebirth, Sojay and I will form a new tribe here. A tribe of strength, yes. 
but joy and cleverness also. When Zookus returns, we will be here to welcome him home. Zookus of the Bright Throat Tribe, guide these lost souls down the river called Rebirth. Lead them into the waiting arms of the Hist. Hear me, sword brothers and root sisters. This is not a ritual of death, but of change. We do not mourn these souls passing. Like our swords and bows, they find new glory in the place beyond. Beyond the tree line of what living eyes can see. We bid them safe journey with song and dance and joyful war cries. Let them know as they pass on that we are the Root Whisper tribe. And in this place, they will always find a home. I sigh with joy. It is, as the sap speaker said, a miracle. Thank you, Swordkin. I name you true friend to the Root Whisper tribe. My soul left the village as soon as our journey began. I am no longer a Deadwater Call. Other Saxleal will find their way here, just as I did. With caution. I have learned that an ally gained can be greater than a hundred enemies slain. But there are still those who would harm us. Though my hand extends, Soje remains by my side. I did not think these old eyes would ever see something so grand. The birth of a new tribe and a new life for a sleeping hist. You have done very well, Biko. Very well, indeed. <laughs> My pride spines bristle. The Deadwater tribe is diminished without a call like Jaxic Orn. But I know her place is here. She... Thalmia told me all about you and how your assistance has been invaluable to her most recent expeditions. Thanks for helping my sister. Cyrodiilic Collections owes you a debt, most certainly. <laughs> the birth of a new tribe. What a marvelous thing to witness! You helped Famia, yes, yes? Sorry I missed all the excitement. I can hardly believe that you were able to reawaken a fist. Despite everything else, that is good, good. A villain defeated. A history renewed. A tribe reborn. This one will admit, she is impressed. Do not let it go to your head, though. If there is one thing Zadaza can't stand, it is vanity. Our wounds fester and supplies are short. <laughs> Whatever are we to do? <laughs> 